well hello beautiful people you know I'm going to start calling you my vloggies <laughs> welcome and thank you for joining me on this channel my name is Patty Boule the vlogging grandmother this is because I am a grandmother and I have a whole life to share with you I speak to students at school I give talks at University Middlesex University and I want to share just one topic with you today and that is staying positive staying positive involves training yourself to stay positive every day in everything around you when you look around you there are things that will help you to stay positive because if you see um, something or you make a mistake or you trip and you didn't hurt yourself and you think oh thank goodness for that it could have been worse because in life everything could be worse also I don't know anyone who has never been depressed in their life there isn't a single human being being depressed comes with being a human being that's what I have found okay so the way to handle if you're depressed different people do it in different times our grandparents were depressed our family members are depressed every now and then but do not let it get on top of you that's that's why I say I do not let the down times get the best of me I always look for the good in every situation like I said in my last vlog always look on the bright side of life be determined be really determined it it really does take training I did say training it takes training to stay positive I'm a positive person I see good in people because there's God in every single one of us that's the first breath we took it's that gift of life that we have been given now how I handle being depressed sometimes is by counting my blessing sometimes I would light a candle a tea light just to remind me of the good things any small thing that made me smile that made me happy I would write it down I would light a candle and and then suddenly I realized my goodness look at all the wonderful things that happened today just by looking at the candles that I have lit and this is because have you noticed how just the bad things take over it's it's poisonous yet the good things just go by but if you light a candle which was a suggestion by my late sister she told me to light a candle whenever good things happen and I did that you can some people like writing lists at the end of the day but no I want to do it there and then I don't want to wait till the end of the day to light a candle I talk to family members I talk to my husband sometimes I talk to my children and sometimes from that lesson I talk to my children from the lessons that I have learned so that they would learn for example at work if you have someone at work who is always nice but then decides to be nasty one day and they're screaming at you and shouting at you do you know my what I do is I realize they are offloading their anger which has come from somewhere else on me so what I do is I start praying counting sheep I anything I start meditating just to let them scream away because the next day you find they're back to normal so you don't want to take that on upon yourself now training also training for positivity for staying positive also involves being gracious just be thankful when I see someone who's homeless I just I feel for them and I think there but for the grace of God go I or someone I love or someone I know yes all these things can happen to any of us I don't care how rich you are I don't care who you are life changes if your life has not changed drastically oh you are one lucky person your depression it's nothing you can handle it some people have cancer if you haven't be positive stay positive because 
you are blessed pray for those who have cancer pray for those who are not well pray for those who are hungry pray for those who don't have what you have wish them well and in that your depression will disappear because you know what I'm used to telling someone it's not about me it's not about you because we're all on this earth together whatever we go through just remember it will pass I'm in my 60s I'm in my mid 60s I've been through so many things and yet when I look back now I think it was just goodness and gracious my goodness God was good to me all the time and so I have learned believe me to worry less to put less lines on my face to let other people's problems become so you know because when people insult me or are disrespectful I'm not gonna lose sleep over it because they're not talking to me it's not about me it's about them it's about how they are feeling I often say to my husband I saw it on Twitter somebody said when I get to tell you that I'm hurting you don't get to tell me I am not hurting because I am the one hurting so therefore you listen to me and try try to sympathize with me meditate pray that is my advice pray a lot prayer is wonderful prayer is one is such a release Meditate if you don't know anything about prayer, but my advice is prayer works wonders. Please do subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, just press that wonderful red button. And if you have any questions for me or you want to write to me, just send a message on my Facebook page, which is Life with Patty Bole. I love you all and I look forward to just chatting with you again. Okay? Don't forget to press that button. Ta-da! Bye!